fishing year-round in our state without using a boat or drilling a hole through the ice. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us why fly fishing in Fillmore County has become a destination for anglers across the country. It's the beauty of the area, the rolling hills, the farmers' fields, the root river. Fillmore County is one of those places that makes you feel like you're home no matter where you're from. There are plenty of sights, sounds, and business. But while most people drive to work, Tim Carver walks. Instead of wearing a suit and carrying a laptop, he wears waders and carries a fishing pole. And his office just happens to be the Root River. Come on, little buddies. There we go. Come on, baby. Tim is the head guide for Driftless Fly Fishing Company in Preston. The word driftless has a lot to do with why anglers near and far come to this small town. Thousands of years ago, glaciers that were drifting across the continent essentially stopped here. We joke because a lot of people make fun of us and say that Minnesota and Iowa is really flat, but that's because they don't go to this part of the country where we run into those 150, 200 foot beautiful limestone bluffs that run along the rivers down here. The bluffs and mineral deposits have created a fly fishing paradise for brook trout, brown trout, and rainbow trout. The fly is what Tim uses for bait. They're made to look like mayflies and other insects. The trout can't resist. You got to be a bug expert a little bit. A little bit. We're using the weight and the line to get the rod to bend and load, and that's what sends the fly and propels the fly forward and back. The cast is all on the wrist. It's like a pitcher trying to throw into a strike zone. There are advantages and disadvantages to fly fishing in crystal clear water. Come on, fishies. You can see the fish. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. But they can also see you. They're the most visually developed fish on the planet. They have three times as many rods and cones in their eyes as we do. Accuracy does matter. Uh, I got Tim. Otherwise, you're bound to catch firewood. Look at that. Not fish. Beautiful. I think it's an ash. <laughs> ash or part of a maple. There we go. Tim makes it look easy. Ah, get out of the weeds, buddy. And because this part of the river rarely freezes over. Come here, buddy. He'll be out here in January, standing literally in the middle of nature. Not a bad way to spend a work day. Could do this for hours, man. It never gets old. It's like a little victory when you catch that fish that flipped you the fin six, seven times in a row. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> ah, I'll get another one. In Fillmore County, John Lordson, WCCO News. Uh, Tim says a few years ago, a species of brook trout was rediscovered in the river after anglers thought it had died off. Hmm. And since then, they have become more common, and Driftless Fly Fishing Company offers free classes every other Saturday.